Welcome back. Today is the 18th of June 2016. We've got a bit of sun today. Um, woke up this morning about minus 5 degrees Celsius like it's been the last three or four days. But the frost is starting to mount now and we're getting a little bit of heat into the day. So this video I just wanted to show what modifications I've made to my double deep uh, long hives, uh, bench hives. They hold Langstroth frames but uh, over the last year what I've found with experimenting with them, I've moved bees into one, two, three, four hives um, this last year and I'll split this year and, and uh, fill my new ones uh, but what I've what I've done is actually modified these ones the ones that I didn't have bees in what I've done is actually made cut them off made them one frame height uh, I've pulled the frames apart so I can reuse them and I've actually cut the lids into sort of a one-third, two-thirds arrangement. So if I take this part of the lid off, the water dripping down, I can show you what I've what I've done inside here. So I've just I've just cut them off, uh, uh, put a board on the ends in here, uh, just so it's flush on the top, and this bottom part, the long hive now, I'm only going to use for a brood chamber. So it's going to be up off the ground, save my back, uh, a, a double brood chamber at the bottom so the bees have ample space to extend out uh, in the spring, uh, store whatever honey they want to store in there and what I'm going to do is this is a perfect width of a commercial 10 frame Langstroth hive so I can put a queen excluder on there and super it and it will still be only a height of my elbows so once the bees fill those up and cap them with honey I can just take individual frames out and spin the honey out of them rather than having to lift a whole box in the autumn I can take the supers off, I can put my, uh, I've got a top feeder, um, also the standard width will go on top there and uh, during the spring I can also put the queen excluder and a cloak board on, a super on top and do my uh, queen rearing as well. So I'm hoping that that's going to resolve some of the issues that I could see with the with these uh, double height boxes um, and be a better outcome I think longer term. So what I'll do in the spring is I'll split these and I'll move them into uh, these hives that I've got prepared and then I'll cut the other ones down as well. The cutting of them down is, is fairly easy to do. I just set up the saw and, and zip around it uh, and then I get the router and you can see just just in there, um, I've got a I've got a deep plunge router, so I can just run it along the edge there. It plunges down and just takes that groove out. So that's a very quick job to do um, to get that fitted for the frames to to fit in again. I've got all sorts of, but oh well, it's getting a bit dirty in there. I'll get it closed up. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.